Hello, <laughs> it's Janice from Welcome to Shabalot. It's Tuesday, no, it's Monday, and I'm back. I haven't gone live since Thursday. I did three lives on Thursday, and then I didn't uh, have, this is my first one since then, so I'm not sure what day in the 30-day marathon I'm on, um, but I know it's still less than half. I have a lot to do. So um, uh, if you're here watching, thank you so much. Please um, say hi, tell me where you're from, tell me your name. And if you are here on the replay, um, thank you so much. And uh, also please say hello. And if you have any questions, uh, please comment because um, I do go back and read them. So we're working on our Peacock bookcase. And um, today I really want to just get in there um, and start painting inside all of these shelves. And um, if you remember, I, or if you haven't been watching, I've been, I've used the Pavo stamp, the Iron Pavo stamp, which is a peacock stamp. And I'm using that, and I'm painting over it with um, Mermaid's Tail and, and, and a couple of my, my metallics uh, from Rust-Joleum. And I'm um, doing, I'm calling it a glam shab peacock. So, but today what I want to do is I want to get in here because I, my peacock is painted up here. Um, I posted pictures of them, so I, I'm not going to flip it around. I just want to stop me. Now, this is the bottom. So what I envision, uh, what I envision for this piece on the inside is to have liquid sunshine be uh, probably about a little less than half of this part of the bookcase. And then I'm going to blend it up into Monet's garden. And then from the Monet's garden, we're going to go into the boho blue. So I think it's going to be a nice blend. Let me get this. Blend. All right, so you can see the whole the whole thing. Now I'm using it right now, like for a bookcase, because that's what it is. It's holding holding all my paraphernalia. So how's that? Okay, so the very first thing that I'm going to do is very first thing I'm gonna do is get my liquid sunshine. And, now I cleaned this thing and I made a little fun video about cleaning and um, it was it was a bear to clean because it, uh, it had been unattended to for like 30 years. So um, I did the best that I could and I'm ready to start painting. So we've got the, the liquid sunshine. And uh, I've got my continuous mist spray bottle, and I'm going to start with. I sanded it too, but I only used a sanding sponge. I didn't um, use like the real sander. So let me see if I can get this a little. Bit. Let's see. Uh, so, but I'm going to be sanding this piece a lot. So. Once this, this paint is on, it's going to be getting a lot more, uh, a lot more sticky. I didn't paint this yellow. This was yellow when I got it. This white, kind of baby yellow. Um, liquid sunshine is much brighter. But it's good that it's it's the same tone because I should get good coverage.
Changing on, on in the inside. I want the whole. I'm not going to be doing the side. I'm going to be doing the side later. Right now, I just get the. Uh, I want to get the inside done. I got it because I've got the, the peacock going on up there, so um, I will keep her right up there. Well, the seats is still pretty shabby. Hi, Kathy. How are you? We're doing the um inside of the top uh, bookcase, and I'm doing some um, sunshine. I'm going to blend that to the Monet garden, and then the Monet garden. Bottom of the book needs to be really vibrant yellow. Liquid sunshine is a beautiful, vibrant yellow color. And I mean, it's going to need quite a few coats, though, however. So, this is just the first coat, and it's going to let me know if I'm having bleed through. Um, also, so hopefully not. But if I have to use I'm gonna have to cover it with shellac. How you doing, Kathy? If you're still there. Um. Yeah. So. To a couple of coats, but probably won't be in the blend. The first coat, I'll probably just I'll probably just um, get the coverage with these colors and then blend um, on the second coat. Doing great. Love the peacock too. Great colors. Thank you. Yeah, I like the bright colors. This is the funnest part. This is um just trying to get the I was gonna do a blend, but I don't think I'm going to because this look at sunshine is going to require you so um, now I'm going to do the uh, Monet's Garden. If I can find it, no, oh, here it is. This is Monet's Garden. It's a deep, deep, deep green. I already did a little bit of the Monet's Garden. Let me do a little. And that happened. So a lot of times these typo bottles, I don't I don't close my bottles. I'm very bad. So um I mean I do, but I don't I don't close them very tightly. So um I'm gonna use my yellow brush. I'm not going to switch brushes yet because these are eventually going to get blended in. So um like I was saying, I wanted I don't want to do each shelf just one color like i want to have a little bit of the blend in the middle so you can see so i've got my my Monet's garden and i'm going to i'm going to
they won how the basic nutritional blend rate in the middle of each um, of each the back of every each shelf. See this this morning I was already dry by a slider. Love to see you guys, Kathy, if you're still there. Um I hope we, we could set up a time on a date, maybe date for us to get together. I would love that. Um rain. Glory. All right. I left a little space in between the um hi Ruth. <laughs> I will message you about going out. Do 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 I hope so. I want to go. I went to see my friends. It's been a long time. Okay, and I'm whining. I'm so sorry. Okay, yellow space. Monet Garden. I've been doing that lately because I want my blend. I want to have this space right here to be the transitional color, like with the two the Monets and the and, the, and that color blending. So I'm going to use a separate brush. I don't think this is a good one. All right. So I'm going to do a little blend. This is my so boring. Uh, I'm going to wet. I'm going to wet. Sure, I get a good amount. It would have a more nice garden on it. Now, we'll bring a little bit of the money guiding over to blend it into the liquid sunshine and I want to use a separate brush, clean brush. I want to put some more liquid sunshine. Actually, using it as my my palette. So here's the liquid. Third brush just for the blending process. Okay. So it's a clean brush, but when it's dry, the some of the clay that gets left over in there kind of tops out. All right. So I'm going to bring the yellow up into the green. I wish I had a towel. Do I have a towel? Yes. I try to keep this brush neutral. So it's picking up the green. Right. 
Spin that over a little bit. Blend. I want it on the sides and even on here. The goal would be to not have any brush stroke so it's a very smooth. Very smooth blend, so I'm very lightly holding this brush, barely touching it. I catch the corridors. Okay, yeah. So in the middle, we're going to have ooh. So in the middle, we end up with this, um, like this light green in the middle. So that's kind of what I'm going for. But this is just the first coat, so it, it's not I'm not getting a lot of coverage. Um, so this is just a, the first coat. It's giving me an idea of what of what the blend is going to look like. And I like it. Do you like it? I think I think it really goes with the peacock, the, the, the bright, vibrant, the yellows and the blues. So I'm going to let this sit as the first coat of the blend on this bottom shelf. And then uh, now on this side, we're going to, I'm going to save this blending brush. We're going to keep it a little clean. And this side, we're going to do the boho blue. And on the top shelf, and, and so, and blend that in with the money thread. We did this on the side, the side that the peacock is on. So, oh, gosh, I don't know if I need Another brush, or is this the brush I just all right? Here's a clean brush. I will use this one for the boho blue. All right, so exactly. All right, can you see? Okay, so I need to. Oh, I guess I have to go here. All right. Okay. So, okay, so now this is the top. This is the top. That's the bottom. This is the top. So I am going to take a big swoosh of boho blue. Oh, so pretty. Look at you guys. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? It's. I put a really big swish, so it's dripping all over me. But, um, yeah, because we want the top to be pretty. Wings aren't that tall, so we'll be able to see see the top. And 
It's gorgeous, isn't it? Boho Blue is DIYs. Darkest teal color. It's a very top dark teal. Which is why it goes good with the, I would think, with, with the greens, because teal has a, a bit of a green hue to it. And yellow and green go well together. So it should be should be a nice match of colors. Bohemian blue, you guys, this is a gorgeous, gorgeous dark teal color. Now it's going to dry. This is very dark right now because it's wet. It's going to dry a lot, um, a lot lighter than that. So there's the top. So now I'm going to work on the, this part here. I think that, I think now, if I'm going to have, if I'm going to have that, the yellow and the green have the blend in the middle, <clears throat> and this one is the green blending into the boho blue. This one will not have a blend because it's the last color. So that means that I will just paint this top shelf. Uh, the boho blue. So this top shelf will not have, will not have a blend. Now I'm painting. I did paint these rims or these these things right here, the outer side of the shelf. But my plan though is for them to be uh, metallic. So I most likely will be painting over that with one of the uh, one of those beautiful metallic colors. Most likely gold. I'm, I'm loving the bronze though, the copper. So that is a really, that might be the one I use because I really, I'm, I'm in love with, with the copper. That this one right here, it's um, I have a it's a copper color. I put it a lot of, I put it on the peacock feathers and I, I just, I love the color. It's Going, it, it just goes really well with all of the other colors I'm using on this piece. So, um, just gonna get this part done. This is why I wear this sweater every time I'm painting. Because I get paint all over me. <laughs> so this is my painting sweater. Kind of like Mr. Rogers sweater. Okay, so there's the boho blue. Not done yet, but I'm gonna start to <clears throat> work, work. I'm trying to get it all. Okay, so now I'm going to still use this. 
Okay, so I'm going to put the blue here and try to see if I can get a blend of the two colors. Um, here, maybe I will, because it's gonna all be boho blue without a blend, maybe I will allow this blend to be like the whole, like a big wider blend than that one. So this is the, the test phase because it's just the, it's the first coat. So I'm kind of practicing, figure out what I'm gonna do. What works and what doesn't work. I'll cover this this uh, show. Okay, that's the boho blue. So uh, this I painted um, a while ago, and it needs so it's very dry. So I'm gonna add. Oh shoot, that was the wrong color. That's okay. Well, kind of a bummer. Well, I gotta use that up now. So. Have any questions on the DIY paint? Let me know. This is uh, all organic, no POC, plain based shop paint. This is Debbie Beard of Debbie's Design Diary. This is her her product. It's fantastic for furniture painting uh, and every kind of painting, but for furniture painting. Is definitely the best. See, yeah, big, big dark hole. <laughs> all, right, all right, so we're going to try to get some Monet's garden. And try to blend. Okay. Do this up that paint. So this is probably dry. No, it's still pretty wet today. So it's not um Can't show you how important it looks like when it's dry. Okay, so now I need my morning's garden. I don't just to put all my paint right on the piece. I don't normally do that, but just because it's just because it's a bookcase and it's positioned like this, I can definitely just use it for my palette. All right, so there's going to be again. This is going to be painted over in metallic. That's part of the peacock right there that I, I wrapped the stamp around it. So I got to kind of leave that for now. 
I'm going to get some wet Chinese garden to blend into local brew. There's a lot of paint that's going on in this piece, you guys. So Bring a coat of the mind's gun to start blend. Okay, so I'm going to. Use the brush that. Oh, I want to show you. My friend Emma brought me a peacock feather. This is a real peacock feather. And she um, said I can use it um, as I'm painting, you know, to get the colors right. Okay, so I want to blend Monet Garden. And this boho blue, so that this whole stripe here is a blend. So I need first my continuous spray bottle. I'm going to wet, wet these paints down. All right, I'm going to bring, I use the boho blue brush. Bring that over, bring some over. I said this is the first coat, so this is getting my feet wet into this blend. This is this blend is a little uh, a little different. The position of this bookcase is also a little a little weird. So now I'm gonna bring some of the uh, Monet's garden over. And again, I am not looking for a perfect blend. I never want a perfect anything. But I am going for a smooth, a smooth transition. And, the, and how I try to achieve that smooth transition is a neutral, a neutral brush. Is this the neutral brush? Yes. Yeah, And I just kind of smooth over it. Very, very light touch. I don't know if I want, see the yellow is still showing through from, that looks really cool on the camera. I don't, it doesn't look, it's kind of weird here, but um, I want, I don't think I want the yellow to show through. Really cool though. So I'll just keep working. It's going to 
definitely take a quite a few coats. Well, no, I'm not going to say that. It's probably just going to take two coats. But it's going to take me uh, quite a few turns to get this blend the way I want it to look. Not this brush. I kind of like it though, like that too. I think that's really cool. Kind of looks like it. Kind of looks like land, like um. It kind of looks like landscape, like grass and and uh, the sky, but. That's not what I want to do. I just want to have a nice transition. If it, if I can get it to look really smooth and really beautiful. A little bit. No rules here. I think that these colors will be really, really good. So again, this is the first coat of the blend. I think for the second coat, I'm going to put this on its on its right side. It's a little hard to. I thought it would be easier to work this way, but it's actually it was a little bit more difficult. So I'm going to flip this over. See how it looks. Okay. All right. So over me. So again, we've got the Monet's Garden and the Boho Clue oh, and the Liquid Sunshine. Flip it over so we can see it's the first coat of the blend, so it's not good. It's not, definitely not enough coverage. Um, so I will have to do another coat of the blend tomorrow or tonight if I have time. Take everything off so I can flip it upright. Oops, lots of paint brushes. So, my real feather. It's really pretty. So, This is the one that I'm using. This is the one that I'm using for the blend. So I want to kind of keep this one a little clean, just in case I do 
do some more painting tonight. Okay, all right, I'm gonna flip it over, you guys. Okay. All right. All right, first I gotta lift this up. Okay, we'll bring it, bring it back. Pick it up like this. All right. I'm going to try to lift it up without getting too much paint on me. That's gonna be awesome. Okay, so here it is so far. Um, let me stand you back. So here it is so far. Um, the great colors, I love it. So we've got the boho blue, the um, Monet's garden. And the liquid sunshine. And we've got just a real easy blend of the colors. This one will not have a blend. This one will be the blend of the Boho Blue Mother's Garden. That will be the blend of liquid sunshine and uh, Monet's Garden. This is the peacock where she stands so far. Um, you can see why I didn't paint this side, why I just painted the inside because. Once the inside is done, let me raise this up just a little bit. Once I have the blend the right way and a few coats of good coverage of paint, then I can, I, I have to finish him, I think, unless you think I should do something different. I'm thinking I need to finish him and then maybe do the blend around him. I'm going to be doing a lot of sanding. I'm going to sand him too. So there's still a lot to go. I haven't even started on the one on this side. But um, one thing I do want to try is the I do want to try, this is the copper, the rest of the metallic. So I'm patient because I probably shouldn't be doing this at this point, but I know I wanted to do a metallic on the lips of these. And my thought was gold. My thought was that I would put a gold metallic, but I'm loving the copper on this peacock. So I want to just see. The copper might not be better. So this paint, I just painted it. It's already a little dry, but it's probably not dry enough to do it. But I just kind of wanted to, to see what that uh, copper would look like. As opposed to the gold. I think I like, I think I like, the, I think I really like the copper. So when you're looking at this, it kind of matches the plume and I'll be doing more and more copper. So what am I supposed to, so I guess I'm supposed to do it over here too. See, I'm just learning as I, as I do it. So then I guess this would all be copper too.
So I have to look at this and, you know, if I change my mind and I don't like it, I can always paint over it, right? But um, I hope I like it. I would like to to just stick with this. I don't think I want to blend the metallics. And I also want to bring some of it on the sides. So I'm just dry brushing a little bit of the copper on the side so you can see a little bit of that. I had dry brushed some gold on this side, so I'm kind of confused. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just going to keep going. Like I said, a lot of layers. Um, I could do... I could do... Oops. I could do the copper on, on the sides. Whoops, sorry. I could do the copper on the sides like this. And I could do um, a little bit of a golden hue around him. So I think I might I might do something like that because I I like both. Um, so that's where we're at, you guys. Um, I will be working on this some more, obviously. So a, a lot more to do. But I really like dry brushing these metallics. Just gives it a lot of a lot of uh, a lot of interest. So that's it for today, you guys. We just did the first coat of the blend for the inside. Um, I think it's good. I like, I love the yellow at the bottom. Uh, and the peacock is getting there. So I'm still working on it. I will be working on this on and off camera for a while until it's done. I need to get it done very soon because I have sold a lot of furniture and now I have empty walls and I need to, I need to stock up again. So. So I need to I need to finish a couple pieces this week. So thank you so much for joining and I will talk to you later. Bye bye.